color, man. That's perfect. Right there. Beautiful. Welcome to Cars, Shops, and Collections in beautiful, sunny Las Vegas. It was 60 years ago that Ford introduced the Mustang. March 1964, it went into production. April 17th, 1964, they showcased it to the world. So today, we're gonna honor the Ford Mustang, and we've got a 1964 and a half Ford Mustang waiting for us up the street. So we'll get in my non-Mustang and go check out one really cool Ford Mustang, 1964 and a half. Tina and Terry are the owners of this 1964 and a half Ford Mustang. I want to put up the pictures right now for everyone to see the condition that this thing was. They rescued this Mustang and wait till you see what they did to it. They have it dialed in, but just to see the condition it is when they got it, I think it was about four years ago, to the way it is now, it's absolutely incredible. Also, I appreciate everyone watching the show and if you haven't yet, you can subscribe to the show um, right below. Let's see what we left up here. And let's do this. Everyone that leaves a comment within the first 24 hours of the show being live, we'll do like a random drawing and one person will get a car shop and collections t-shirt. What? Yes. Wow. That's that's pretty cool. Leave a comment. I would. Let's see. Looking for a 1964. Oh! oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Good eye, G. Oh, look at that. Sitting in the garage. The stance of that. Let me see the plate, but there's a special meaning behind that plate. We'll have Tina explain it all, but there it is. Can you see it? Hi, I'm Tina. And I'm Terry Rittazzi. And today we're going to show you our 1964 and a half Ford Mustang. Oh, look at that color, man. That's perfect. Right there. Beautiful. Wow. That color. Oh, my gosh. Is it candy apple? It's actually, it's candy brandy wine. Candy brandy wine? Yes. Candy brandy wine. Yes. That is, I mean, that, Ryan Evans, who is the, uh, the paint guy for Counts Customs here in town and also counting cars. We're friends with Danny and those guys. And I was talking to him once about paint and how his paint work is just fantastic. And his thought process is that paint of the car is like a tractor beam. You're walking by it at a car show and all of a sudden you, you see the paint and you just grab, it, it grabs you and pulls you in. And that's what this did for me when I saw you guys on Saturday. And now as you get closer, the sparkle, the way it just, it just pops, it's nuts. It is so cool. Yeah, I had to, I had to fight to get this color. Because uh -huh. I guess candy colors are harder to paint. Okay. And not all painters like doing them. And so he showed me all, other, all kinds of other colors. And I just didn't like them. And every time we'd go to a car show, because he'd go to a car show with me, I'd tell him, well, how about that one? Uh -huh. He goes, well, that's a candy color. And I'd say, well, how about that one? <laughs> well, that's a candy color. So finally, he said, okay, fine. I'll do candy for you. Okay, the paint, fantastic. How did you find this car? So we've been showing the pictures of what the car looks like. In my mind, you two rescued this Mustang. Oh, yeah. And put it back on the road. How did you get your hands on it? We had a friend, one of our neighbors, um, he had a friend, he was in a four-wheeler club with this friend. Mm -hmm. Well, the friend passed from, he had a heart attack and died. His wife was selling off a bunch of his stuff. He come over and said, you know, hey, I know this guy or this lady, she's selling some four-wheelers, are you interested? And we said, no, we do side-by-sides. And he goes, well, she's got, Two cars, too. One was a fancy, expensive sports car. He goes, and she's got a 64 and a half Mustang convertible. And Terry says, no. And I go, no, wait, <laughs> wait, just a minute. Uh -huh. And I go, I want to see it. I have always loved these cars. Yeah. Always. And so we, he gave us her number. We called her. We set up a time to go and see her. And, 
and the rest. The rest is history. And that was four years ago. This has been a four year project. Maybe just we start here too with the, the interior. What did you guys do to the seats here? Okay, we actually did this ourselves in our house. We ordered the, it, it's like covers. Uh -huh. We ordered them through CJ Pony. The, we kept the original frames. We got new foam for the front seats. Uh -huh. And it's just a skin. You slide it over and you use the hog rings to hook it in. We use the original padding and foam on the back seat. So underneath it, it's the original padding and foam with the original 64 and a half Mustang seats. This is just your new covers on top here. Yes, and matter of fact, this seat, when we took all everything off of it, uh -huh. there was a tag in there that says 925, 1964. No kidding. Yeah, and we left the tag on it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So how do we know for 100%, we're 100% sure that this is a 64 and a half Mustang, because the Mustang, they started production in March of 1964, and the 64 and a half is between March and the end of July. In that era, that's, that's the 64 and a half. How do we know that falls underneath that? I did a lot of research, and like the carpet, uh -huh. the old carpet that was in it had the original carpet, yes. and the carpet didn't go all the way. Okay. It, it didn't go all the way up to the, to the top. It just came like to about right here, and then it was rubber, and that's what this had. And that's something that the 64 and a half yeah. Mustang has. There's something. And, but technically, there, if you want to get technical about it, there really are no 64 and a halfs. They're all titled as 65s. Yeah. I, here, here's, pull the curtain back. We literally met at a car show on Saturday at Muscle Cars at this trip. And here we are filming this on a Wednesday. And I came up and I started talking to Tina and she just started dropping all this knowledge about this car. That's what I love about you. I'm like, we have to get together and, and do this episode. Can I, can I open it up? Yes, yeah. you can. You can sit in there if you'd like, however you want to do it. This then here is all original. Dash here is all original. The dash is all original. Um, the lights are not, of course. Uh -huh. You know, it's got LED lights. Um, the radio looks original, but it's not. It's a digital Bluetooth. Which is very common to do, because you want modern amenities. And the, the, the 64 and a halfs didn't come with the long console in them. Uh -huh. But I liked it, so I put it in there. It's like, this is for... For me, this is my car, and so I did what I like. Come around the front here, because something very special here is this jumped out to me when I was at the car show. Your custom tags here, survivor. I am. Tell everyone the story. I am a breast cancer survivor. I ended up, I found out in October of 2018 that mm -hmm. I had breast cancer. January 10th of 2019, I had a bilateral mastectomy and I've been cancer free ever since. Oh, God bless it, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. What a really cool uh, plate to have on your car to just kind of honor everything you've gone through and, and other survivors as well. Yeah. Can we see under the hood? Yes, go ahead, you do it. <laughs> Four years, the car's finally done. You just started taking out the car shows. What has been the reception uh, oh, that people, people are seen it? really excited yes. about it. They really like it. Fools like me come running up to you. I'm like, I gotta see more of this. Um, we, we still even, got a few things to do. We even huh? had a guy from TMI uh -huh. come up, oh, yeah. which is what the upholstery is, and was asking us about it. I guess he's the brand manager for okay. TMI upholstery, and he wanted to know if I could send him some pictures of the upholstery and said that if we ever get down to Southern California with the car, uh -huh. he says, please get a hold of me, because he says, I know our media team would like to do something with your car. So Educate me on what you, what you guys did inside here. You do it, huh? Pretty much this is pretty much stock motor. Mm -hmm. All I did is I put new pistons, new rings, new cam, you know, and every, everything on it and just added a bunch of chrome and... Yeah, because you know the saying how, how it goes? Yeah, chrome, chrome will get you home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, changed out the radiator. We put vintage air in it. Mm -hmm. It took, what, four months to get the vintage air. They had to build it just for this car. Oh, did they really? Yeah, yeah, We, but it's all... You know, all vintage air, everything. New air compressor, I mean, everything's on here. But I got it, like say, I got a few other little things to hook up, like the air compressor I got to hook up, you know, and just a, a little stuff like that. How much of the body is original? In that picture where you look at the back quarter panel, looks a little bit different. How much of the body is, is original, do you know? Um, okay, we ended up going with two new doors yeah. 
and the reason why is because it's got like that orange peel look on the inside of the door uh -huh. and the painter said that if we went with those original doors one of them had the orange peel the other one didn't he said if you sand it down he says it's not going to look right so you wanted to get that perfect perfect match yeah. and you built this to drive it this is not just sitting in your garage it's oh, not just a show car you drive you're driving yeah. this all the time right yeah yes. Yeah, we are. One thing I want to tell you about is yeah. this, which is the distributor cap. Uh -huh. He had an ugly red one on there. It looked like a clown's nose when you opened up uh -huh. the hood. I told him, I don't like that. So we searched and searched and finally we found a clear one and he got it put on. And, and of course, the first thing we do is we turn off all the lights in the garage and start it up so you can see the spark. <laughs> That's neat, that jumps out. And it does, it has a cloth black top with a glass back window. And then is this, are these the original wipers, do you know? No. No, it had no wipers on oh. it. Because the 64 and a halfs were all chrome. Really? Yeah. Oh. So after, when you guys did the, the repaint, we still have to put the Yeah, so I was gonna on. have Ernie repaint this, that's why. I... Which is really good, a lot of people paint over it. Yeah. I like you take it off and you put it back on, it gives you that original yeah. Look, and, See, and that's what we didn't want to happen. Yeah, and he said he could repaint it, clean it up, repaint it, same color for me. Yeah, put it back on there. So yeah, so it pops when you see it. And so we're sitting here, we're, we're talking about, and I know people watching the Mustang experts will break this all down, but we're trying to break down like the, the date codes. Yeah. And I believe K is the month. Do I have that right? People watching is K. So if that's K, what month would K be? November. November. And then the day would be the 29th, the 29th of November. That's the case, it's a late 64, 65. Yeah. But there's other nuances inside the car that indicate to us that it's a 64 and a half Mustang. Yeah. That's so cool that you guys still have that. That's clean. That looks so good. What'd you do back here? That's the window, the back window oh, for the top. The top, yeah. How was the, the, the top when you guys got it? Oh, it was horrible. Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. Uh -huh. I'll send you a picture of it. It was really bad. <laughs> and actually, and I call the car George because that's George, the name yeah. of the man that, the one that passed away. Oh, and it was honored. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And so it actually, he had the same heart attack that my husband had. And uh, my husband was really lucky because that the doctor who was on call uh, got him into the cath lab right away because it was his, it was the heart attack that they call the Widowmaker. Oh my gosh. And it was almost 100% blocked. Yep. And what year was this? In 17. 2017, January of 2017. And in this, the George, the one that had the car, he had started working on it, was going to do it for his daughter. Oh. And he was having chest pain. He went to the hospital because his lab work was normal, they sent him home and he died about an hour later. Oh my gosh. He passed away. Have his daughter seen what you guys did to this? No, not yet. It, oh, I, I, and I, I don't know, I want to call his wife yeah. and, and let her know we've got it done. Yeah. That's four, it's been four, that was four years ago. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure they would love to see it, oh, to see yeah. what you did and the fact that you, the car is named after the father. I mean, I, I know. They would love to see this. They'd love it. And you and I were then, Tina, you and I were talking when Terry had, after the heart attack, the recovery, working on something helped you yep. in the healing process, it right? Help me heal me up. <laughs> helped heal you up, give you something to focus on. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, after you survived the Widowmaker, uh, you're gonna show us what you built inside here. I, I love that, the, the power of cars, the healing power, yes. you know. Just see what happened. Well, he had his heart attack, and then a few weeks later, the doctor said he didn't, wasn't sure what he was seeing, so he wanted to take him back into the cath lab. We had another blockage. Well, he ended up having a triple bypass, and they wouldn't let him go back to work. And I was worried about him, because he needs something to Yeah, you want to keep you want, idle hands is, you know, give me in trouble. And so what I did is I went online and I started ordering parts for this. And I didn't stop till he was done. <laughs> and it's done. It is done. T bucket. Did you want to start it up? He can start it up and back it out. Start it up and back it. You guys want to see that? Heck yeah. Mm. 
That is so cool. <laughs> so what, what did you start with again? The first part? He had, well, what happened was, okay, the frame, this is a, it's a, a he built it. Yeah, so it's a kit. It's a kit. He had the body, but I built the frame, me, uh -huh. and, me and another guy, a welder, built the frame, had everything all powder coated. I built yeah. the motor, built everything on it. You guys are so good, by the way, with the colors that you pick. I love the colors that you pick. We knew that he wanted, we wanted blue on this. Uh -huh. And there are so many different shades of blue. And we had gone to the movies one day. We came out and there was a 2016 Camaro parked next to the car. Uh -huh. And both of us at the same time, that's the color. Really? So we looked it up and it's uh, hyper metallic blue. No kidding. So that's the color on, the, on a Camaro, but you guys got it for your... Yeah, yeah. 2016 Camaro, yes. It's got little ghost flames in there. You yeah, can see cool them. Yeah, that's right there, huh? Yeah. And we had the same guy painted this that painted my car. That's neat. And these... Uh, tell them about these little rats back here. Oh, he wanted some rats painted on the back. Uh -huh. yeah. And there's a guy, he lives in St. George, and... He said, yeah, I'll do it. So I told him we wanted two rats. Uh -huh. And so he drew something up. He emailed it to me. So this is what he come up with. That's it. And who painted this on? He did that yeah. freehand. Wow. And she's a very attractive rat. Yeah. The world of rats. You guys have a nice rat right That's there. That's me giving her flowers. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All through high school, I went through, my name's Terry Ritazzi. So first letter is T. The last three letters of my name, T-Rat. There we got it, yeah. Uh -huh. So that's, I went all through high school like that. T-Rat. Yeah, and you know, I couldn't get those plates no more, so I had to end up with this for here. Well, I like the- uh, That's 23. People in Nevada, the old school Nevada blue plates. These are the cur current version, but still, if you see someone in Nevada, if you see a car in, in anywhere in Nevada, it's got an old, Solid blue faded out tag. There's an old school license plate. That's that's. that's and cool they plate. stand out. They're yeah. not just like a sticker. See those in there stand up. Yep. This is great. Well, thank you guys so much for for sharing your cars with me and us today, and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This has been a, an absolute oh, treat. Glad you came thank in you so much, Terry. I appreciate yeah. it. This is great. For sure. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. This is uh, this is a lot of fun. Thank you guys. If you want your car, shop, or collection featured on the show, then shoot us an email at carsshopsandcollections at gmail.com. That's carsshopsandcollections at gmail.com. And thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Cars, Shops, and Collections. Oh.